Okay, now let's add uh, some fields to our uh, TAZ layer so we can work with the uh, demand models. I'm going to open the job database, the TAZ file. Sorry, here, TAZ file. And we, if we go to the, to to the database, you're going to see that we have the socioeconomic data but we don't have uh, fields for the trips themselves. So let's let's do that. Uh, you and you can do that with the, the database screen or the map screen. It doesn't matter. We can, we're going to go to data view, modify table, and add a field. And I'm going to uh, teach you a trick here. When you add a field, see that the type is the same as the previous. So before you add all the fields you need, add only one, change the type, say 304 bytes, 308 bytes for our example, it doesn't really change anything. And let's already give its name HPCAD production. We put underscore, easier to read. Okay, and now let's add all other fields. We're going to need six total, so another five. One, two, three, four, five. And the type is right. We only have to change, we only have to change the name. And I advise you to do always in this in the right order, like home base work production, home base work attraction, home base other production, home base other attraction, and so forth, because uh, down the road, you're going to see that the order of the of the fields allows Transcad to guess every time you choose a field, it guesses what what is the other field. So it is um, it is pretty useful. So this is it.